Welcome to About a Song with Smith and Calvert. A 12-episode weekly video podcast uh, where we play one of our songs, talk about how it was written, songwriting, and life. Hope you enjoy. Hi, this is Michael Smith. And my name is Leah Calvert. Welcome to the seventh episode of Smith and Calvert about a song. She's looking at our new sign. We have a cool new sign. We have a cool new sign that was made by our friends at Ohm Grown Art here in Atlanta. We'll, and put, a, we'll put a link on it so you can see what it get. They make awesome signs. They're CNC carved and awesome. Yeah, they're pretty awesome. I think this one was like 13 layers. If you get really close, you can kind of see all the all the layers of the sun or the moon or the whatever you want to interpret that as so yeah it's neat we cool like stuff. it a lot yeah so episode seven the song we just did was straight jacket jesus mm-hmm. but before we get into straight jacket jesus let's talk about our wine of the evening 
Leah brought this one. I brought this one. It's a uh, a black the black it's black slate is the brand 2017 and it's a priorat, priorat. So, which is like a Grenache. Well, so Grenache is the grape. Apparently, I had yeah. to do some research. Mm -hmm. But Priorat is the area, so mm -hmm. the region. So Priorat is on the Spanish, in Spain, the Spanish coast of Catalonia. Mm. And the actual, uh, so Catalon Catalonian wines. I'm probably saying it incorrectly. Um, there's like twelve different villas. This is the Pereira uh, villa, and uh, you know what it tastes like. <laughs> I cannot wait for you to tell me. Redemption. <laughs> <laughs> From my last crappy bottle that two I brought. Two in a row. <laughs> Leah, the last two bottles that Leah brought in were absolutely just bad wines. <laughs> I think on the text I said, it's your turn to do wine. Let's stay away from descriptions of um, top soil. soil or anything that tastes like bath water. Let's stay away from that. And you won. This is very good. I know. All I wanted to do was impress you. It's spicy I, on the back end. So it's big. It's a bit. We just help. You know, you're trying to impress me. I'm I know. I'm the only person here. You, you like, like big. big yeah, ones. yeah. Yeah. So it's a very good one. Mm-hmm. All right, enough about the wine. Let's yeah. talk about this song. This song is so is really like the funnest song that we have. Um, it's a little, it's a little dirty and a little bit like funny and kind of like sacrilegious. sacrilegious. <laughs> and um, yeah, I don't know you. I mean, you were you pretty much wrote this tune. Yeah. I, this, so what happened was we went on a songwriting weekend uh, up at the at our family's lake house. And my my mother in law, oh, yeah. yeah, right. I so now. That's yeah, it's all coming together. My mother in law, and uh, she is just uh, she's like kind of an art hound. She does has really cool art all over her house. She has it all over her lake house. Most of it I love. Some of it's kind of weird. And um, uh, and who else came? So we both brought our families for the weekend because we were doing other stuff. Neil and, was up there. And we brought Neil Fountain. Mm -hmm. And we'd mentioned Neil before. Neil's one of my favorite guitarists and he's another collaborator of Leah's bass, everything. You, you know, he's top level musician, but we brought him up. And um, so anyway, there's this, there's this painting when you walk in and you kind of, it's in the living room. And it's as big as like one of the whole walls. And it's like, it's kind of tan in color, and it's got it's got a heavy texturing in it. And it looks like skin. It's it, sort of a skin color. Skinish color. color. Yeah. And it's got this little square in the corner. And <laughs> sitting in the square is like, it's like a, now this is from memory, but it's like a ladder, and on top of it is like, it's like an angel or something with wings and a beard, so that makes it a cherub, I guess, with its kind of arms pulled behind its back a little yeah. bit, right? Mm -hmm. And so Neil walked in, and the first thing he said was something like, what the hell's up with Straight Jacket Jesus over here? <laughs> and I was like, song. Song. <laughs> I'm going <gonna, I'm laughs> to write that song. Grabbed my phone, wrote in it, Straight Jacket Jesus. Uh, I was like, well, that's a successful weekend. That's yeah. obviously going to be a good song. I think a lot of like music stuff came out of that particular. We've referenced that. That weekend had a lot of stuff that happened. Yeah, it was uh, really cool. Yeah. So... And I pretty much got into writing it the week after we left because I thought mm -hmm. it was so cool. Yeah. And so what I started thinking about, well, I was like, okay, think about what does straight jacket Jesus mean? And so in my mind, I'm thinking, A, you're crazy, and B, some sort of a savior figure. And it kind of brought me into like a David Koresh, Jim Jones, some kind of a cult sort of mm -hmm. figure. I'm like, okay, this is a cult letter. Cult. Yeah leader mm -hmm. and i mean and so that's what the whole song was about there's nothing real about this song it's just like this story about a cult leader mm -hmm. and um so at the time too this was earlier in the songwriting we were doing and we had mentioned that this is another song similar to this but before that a lot of the songs were slower and kind of folkier bluegrassy or something and so we had been saying we need something we need something danceable and maybe like, I don't know, rockish, R&B, whatever. Mm -hmm. And so that was sort of the idea. It was like something that's kind of danceable and fun and um, turned into be a little sacrilegious with straight jacket Jesus. But. Yeah, but you know, if you can't laugh at it, you got to laugh at the dark stuff and, yeah. the, and the light stuff too. Yeah. And that, the comedy behind it was just obviously appealing to me. Um, yeah. But... And Sarah, my wife, it was one of, at the time it was her favorite. I don't know if it's still that way because we hadn't played it in that long either. Yeah. But um, it was kind of one of her favorites because I mean she just likes kind of groovy songs. You know? As she should, yeah. I mean that's just like yeah, yeah. it's a danceable tune and it's it's a comedy. So. Yeah. So I wrote the first uh, chorus 
and I think the first verse and sent it to you and you helped a bunch on the verses and then you help, had a bunch so there's that bridge that's like um, with the ooze mm-hmm. um, which I love that part a lot and we you know obviously we've been impl- we've been doing a lot of bridges in a lot mm-hmm. of our songs but you had a big piece to do with that um, yeah and it came together pretty fast yeah that was that I mean that that is one of those tunes that just sort of came together as yeah and so what so the lyrics like, so yeah, straight jacket, Jesus, arms I'm tied, tied back. back. Tell me, who were you talking you? to? Yeah, and so the idea there was just like you have people talking in your mind. Yeah. Right? And then it moved on to a uh, this idea of like a, you know, a Judas. Mm-hmm. So you're like the number two in command is, you know, he's selling you out. The feds move in. I mean, it's pretty much Jim Jones if they had caught him before the Kool-Aid. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Yeah, well, but I mean that was, that was it. It's a pretty simple, just fun too. Yeah, so. well, I thought it was. It's it's one of my favorites. It's it's yeah, just it's, like fun to get. It's nice sometimes. Like we write these like super, uh, you know, emotional songs, and and when we're doing that, it's like it's nice to have a reprieve that is. Well, that's what one of the this. fun. That's what one has been one of the fun things about all this is that we've been writing for such a big stretch of time that it's the first time I've ever done anything like this where you're like, okay, let's and we have all the time in the world, there's no deadline, let's actually write something specific. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, okay, we've got these types of songs. Now let's write some of these types of songs. And it's also been just a great exercise as songwriters mm-hmm. to try to, you know, open yourself up and say, well, let's write different stuff. It doesn't all need to be whatever. It can yeah. be anything, and there can be a lot of different ideas. Yeah, absolutely. It writes you, it's, it, 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 uh, it allows you to write for other people sometimes because so often as writers you're thinking well can I sing this and you're like and you, it puts you in a different state of mind and you're able to actually write for somebody else well, and, I, and I get that eyes. a lot it's funny right so like you know a lot of what I'm writing in this perspective is kind of writing for you mm. you know not that I don't like to write some of the stuff for myself and me and and me sing it because I do but you have such a killer voice that it's like so a lot of times I'm thinking okay well can I write something that would really fit yeah. what Leah does well sure. and that also picks into something we've been wanting to do a lot more which is you know part of the point of all of this is that we want to start kind of doing more writing with other people sure. um, and so it gives us a chance to, to do a little of that yeah I, w- I will say like just for me I, the, the song is fun to sing and that was and the, and we I tend to always get these songs that are nice and soft and yeah, yeah, it just you know, fits, yeah. Because that's just sort of the expectation. What's well, easy to do with acoustic instruments? Absolutely. With acoustic mm-hmm. instruments, it's not as easy to like think that big kind of a thing. But mm-hmm. this is a song where eventually we're going to play this stuff with a full band, and this will be great. Oh yeah. With that a full band doing fun. the rock thing. So, mm-hmm. all right. Well, that is episode seven. We're, we're ticking these down. Yep. See you next week for episode eight episode eight next week we don't know what it is but we don't care we'll figure it out we'll figure it out (laughs) it'll be something we've written for sure that's right all right bye bye